You know what? Do you use a special app for the streaming? I'm I'm just saying uh, the stream deck. You could just push a button and then <coughs> basically uh, you could add things to your stream. But we're live now. Cool, man. Let's do this, man. All right, let's see what we got here. So, Doc, what you most excited about, man? First things first. Hey, hey, join me, bro. Alright, dude. Welcome to the stream, y'all. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for thanks for stopping through. We about to see what this is about, man. We about to see what these new weapons and gears about. You know this is you know this is my patch, right? This is my patch, bro. Because it's the a hybrid patch, and you know what I'm about. Good to see you. Alright. Weapon balance and cash. Gear balance and cash. Gotta get all this. Have fun with it. Skill variants. Oh, trap no trap. Thanks for the business. This is called test subject. Perfectly in sync. Alright. Enjoy, agent. Easer's guard, that's sick. Oh, man. Nice doing business with you. I need um I need to delete some stuff, dude. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I was thinking. <laughs> I mean Oh yeah man, it's up to 150, so maybe we don't need to delete anything. That looks awesome. Oh. Glad Yeah, dude. Okay, hold on, let me open this up then. No matter of fact, I'm still gonna throw a few. Th I'm gonna throw some things in the stash real quick, just because we don't need to test the lady death, pestilence, none of that. All right. Throw all of this in the stash. All right. I usually like to fill up my fill up my inventory before cases, so then I can be more selective. But in this case. Uh, now I have to add an extra 50, so I'm just going to do what it is. Right, right. Yeah, shoot, I'll check the Scorpio, bro. Just give me one second, I'm going to check all of that for y'all. I just got to clear my inventory out a bit. So I can get all the new stuff, you feel me? Alright. I think that's good enough. I got almost 100 spots. Let me give myself 100 spots. Hold on. Scalpel, I like that name. Yeah. So now... Sur surgical. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, look at that capacitor. It's red and black. Wow. Uh, gear balancing. Okay. Waveform. Hey, that's what the new exotic holster is called, waveform. This is just too much stuff, man. I don't need none of these gear sets. Striker, future initiative, none of that. Delete all that. Yo, what's up, Bobby yeah, Sniper? Welcome. Welcome everyone to the stream. <laughs> Alright. 
And I have to change characters, man, because I got no cash. <laughs> you don't have no it's cash. <laughs> got no cash. <sighs> so I have to change characters. Dude. No, no, you can, all you gotta do, all you gotta do is um, sell all this stuff. Oh yeah, man, I can sell my own old gear second hand. Cause I'm about to sell all of this stuff that just came out cash that I'm not using. Except for the new gear set rigger. Okay. I'll sell keep the waveform. Oh my god, bro. I, I'm about to be like a mad scientist, bro. Well, you got a, one mad scientist and one real scientist. <laughs> I'll join back on you in a sec. Yep. My other character's cashed up. Alright, so let me sell all this. So I sell it then. To get to the testing. So, hey y'all. One of y'all said that you want. Yo, Wizzy, welcome. Shout out to my members, man. Welcome to the to the stream, yo. <sighs> welcome all my subs, my members. So, um, I know one of you guys said you want to see the Scorpio, right? What else do y'all want to see after the Scorpio? Guard battery pack. <clears throat> you know, hey, Doc, you know that you could have just bought um, a cash and they would have gave you money. What? What? <laughs> it's called. Hang on, man. How can you buy cash if you got no cash? Whatever. <laughs> it's called uh, PTS Crafting Cash. It gives you a million uh, credits, bro. Alright, check it like out. Alright, go back to my main character. Yeah. Alright, so look. Because uh -huh. my main character's got the skills, but I ain't got the cash. Alright, look, let me. Alright, you gotta go to work. Let me, let me go do this for you, real quick. Okay. Optimization station, let me max out, max out a piece of gear for you. It's over here, you see? It's the added table next to the recalibration station, which is pretty cool. You just go here, go to optimization, just add it onto that. Um, let me max out my ridgeways since it's almost got rolled. Come here, you see these materials down here? I don't know what those are, but this is the new materials that you need in order to craft or optimize. So you hit X to optimize, and... So it can be the six. Let me go to a lower piece like this right here. This has 7.8 explosive resistance. Let me see how far it goes up. See, okay, you see? It doesn't go all the way up. So you got to keep optimizing it until, see, this gives you a little more. It doesn't go up right away. Ah, uh, yeah, man. So you keep, that's good. I like oh. It. I can't do it anymore because I don't have the materials. Wow. So now you have to farm. So now I gotta farm, right? So view resources. Okay, this is called Black Tusk Tactical Assessment. A vital tool for optimizing rifles, pistols, and chest armor required by defeating Black Tusk bosses. You see, this is crazy. Everything has um, its own resource and what you have to do. This right here it means that you got to diversify your, you know, play where, where you play at and everything. And a lot of it says bosses, right? Cleaner bosses, tusk bosses. The assessment stuff is is more so bosses, and uh, field recon data is just like deconstructing. This is uh, completing missions and projects, so everything has its own. Uh, <laughs> way 
yeah, I mean, it is expensive. So, I mean, you got to, you got to like, you know, choose wisely what you want to update. You know what I'm saying? But this is pretty sick. Look at this little added area over here, man. You know? So, look, let's get to the meat, right? <laughs> Where's that Scorpio at, man? Look at this. Look at this capacitor. Hold on. Where's the Scorpio? Where's the Scorpio? Ooh, that must look sick. I got to tell you. The stuff like in Division, like as far as aesthetically, they look really nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. I agree. Exotics. They need to fix that, man. I'm not in combat because I'm in a freaking gun range. What the heck? Yeah, they do. All right. Dad, I hate that. Um. I know I got it. You are now group leader. Another agent is now in your <laughs> group. <laughs> I just thought of a build idea, bro. It's over with. <laughs> An agent has gone offline. All right, the Scorpio. Got disconnected. All right, so the Scorpio. Uh, this weapon fires debilitating venomous rounds inspired by the scorp inspired by the scorpion, specifically Hatentata. I guess that's a type of scorpion. The weapon developed in conjunction with DARPA failed to get approval due to being in contravention of the Hague Convention of 1899. Okay. <laughs> Controversy everywhere. Okay, septic shock. Shooting a target applies stacks of venom, which lasts for 10 seconds. Increasing stacks adds more severe debuffs to the target. Poison, disorient shock. I guess that's all the things that you experience when you get stung by a scorpion, right? I haven't been. Target takes additional 20% damage from all sources. Stacks no longer increase. Yo, this is... I can't give away none of my... Look at that. So that that right that little poison thing you see right there. That gives you the sh all those different um status effects. So whenever you see that um <coughs> poison means direct health damage. Really? Yeah, man, you can stack that with health damage. Oh my yeah, god, bro. Sure, oh my god, you see the <laughs> Do you see the health going down with the armor? Yeah, man. Get out your hollow man, dude. Please be quiet, Doc. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Doc, you can't do that here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, zip. Oh my gosh, yo. Wow. This exotic is nuts, so. Let me tell y'all something right now. If you thought health wasn't viable, you better start stacking health. Oh my god. Let me see the attachments. Okay. Weapon handling. Reload speed, weapon handling. Uh, critical hit chance. And stability. I mean, you know, it doesn't need anything else because it's the poison. Disorient. Shock. Targets take a t additional 20% damage. <sighs> boy, oh boy. Alright, let's check out the um, capacitor, right? Okay, my two favorite things are cut and crossed wires. And electrical fires. Electric fires. Luckily, those two tend to go hand in hand. Let's spark it up, then burn it down. Former Black Tusk technician. Okay. Capacitance. <clears throat> Shooting enemies build stacks of a cap of fifty to a cap of fifty. Each stack grants one percent skill damage after five seconds. Stacks decay one per second. So I mean, as long as you're not shooting, it's gonna it, they're gonna um, decay. But as you keep shooting, this, you can keep the stacks up. And then for each skill tier, you gain five percent weapon damage. So you know, what? let's put on a let's put on a um, skill build, right? Um. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I'm in combat again, right? Okay. Please. Let's mess with, let's mess with Fatal Touch a little bit. All right. Um. Instead of this, I'm gonna put this on. Give me another skill tier. Alright, let's do this. I'm about to throw on. Yo. Uh, welcome to the Identity Rebels, Jamar, man. Thanks, man. Shout out to my members, man. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get hype right now. Alright. Ooh. <laughs> Let me take off this vow mask and put on. You guys have no idea what's about to happen, man. You have no idea what's about to happen with this, uh, the builds. No in a group. It's about to be over with for everything. Put this new gear set on, I might as well, right? Because, um, it's a new skill gear set. So, and then we're going to throw on a, the new exotic holster to waveform. Okay, graphite layers are suff suffused throughout the holster. Kevlar weave that when the wearer moves creates an in inductive oscillating electromagnetic field this f field allows for remote charging of electrical devices all right so the exotic attributes are skill damage and skill haste which is great okay alternating current generate a stack of three percent skill damage on one of your skills every second capping to 10 stacks after 10 seconds at the cap the stacks transfer to the other skill so basically it's like alternating current right it goes back and forth side to side which is going to go really well with like a turret drone build right um okay so i got six tiers and i'm at 55k capacitor look at the stats we got critical hit damage crit chance weapon handling and crit that what yo two 15 percent crit damage attributes bro that's 30 percent crit damage on this mug What? Oh man. I don't have moderators yet, uh EB. Nah. Alright. It's the wrong weapon, ain't it? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this has thirty rounds. So this is really, this is really a skill weapon, because you're not supposed to use it, you know, with 30 rounds, I don't think that, I mean, you can use it, but they really want to promote that as for skill builds, right? Let's, uh, so let's put on, um, turret, right? And a drone. Okay, and we're gonna come over here. Oh, he just upgraded to advance, yo! Look, people in here getting hype, man. <laughs> Welcome, bro. Hey, did you join join the Discord yet? Matter of fact, let me let me the the Discord is is lit right now, man. The Discord has gained over seven hundred or what five hundred members in the last couple of days, so. I think y'all need to be in there, man. Because people are getting together, joining raids. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Linking up. So just give me one second. Let me. I'm about to uh, drop the Discord link right here for y'all. You have been promoted to group leader. Let me just make sure it's. Uh, give me one second. All right, there y'all go, man. Hey, look, hop in this Discord, man. <laughs> Matter of fact, Doc, let's head over to um, 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 let's 
All right. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. So we put this on very hard, of course. Alternating current. So this is what's about to happen, you guys. We're about to be... Um, we got to get, get our stacks up to 10. Okay, once it's capped, then the damage is going to transfer to the turret and the drone alternately. Okay, along with the skill gear set that we have here, right? So the four piece, this basically two, three, two and three pieces, skill duration and skill haste. So interacting, the four pieces interacting with your deployed skills, grants 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. This buff can be refreshed, which means using, deploying, changing skills. So we're about to be picking it up, throwing it back down. So look, get my stacks. Let's drop the uh, turret right now. these stacks up okay you see you see the alternating current right now let's, let's take this out it it's just about to be redonkulous and now I want to ask y'all in chat do y'all think this is more beneficial than let's say in sync Let's pick this up. Look at that. Look at that. You can pick the turret up. You can pick the turret up, right? Throw it over here, though. You can't pick it up. So you got to be careful about your deployment. So let's destroy that. So you got the rigor chest. This exclusive talent is increases the damage buff from 25% to 50%. Yeah, that answered my question. So I guess um, you want to use the chest piece. Wait, no, NSYNC is on a, a weapon, right? Where's that perfect NSYNC? Uh, test subject. I'm I'm so glad that they released this weapon because even though th this has 30 in rounds in the magazine, you can increase the rounds by 20. Look at that. The exotic is only 30, so you know. <laughs> okay. So this is just like a pure gear set, um, a, a pure skill gear, gear set. Does anybody remember, um, hold on, Steve Smith, can you optimize all three attributes on a gear piece or just one? You know what, I think you could do all three. Let me, let me go check real quick. Because the optimization station on gear, on division one was where you could, you could just choose one and then optimize that piece. So, let's see. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome to the stream. <clears throat> oh. Optimize. Status effects. Yep, you can. So you're not like... It's not restricting you. It's not letting you... J you know, leaving you to only one attribute, you could do both, which is really sweet. Weekly medical checkups are yeah, so I mean, they got you covered either way. What up, Adizi? What's up? Adizi Underwood. <laughs> Alright, man. Oh my god, look, look. For those of you who didn't see this, this right here is the first time this has ever happened. Look at what this does. This is a weapon that damages your health and armor at the same time. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Hey, Jacob. What's up? Welcome to stream, man. What was that? What just happened?
Maybe that was from the gear set, right? Hold on. Um. Cause that, cause the guy, he just got electrocuted, man. See what the backpack does. Canceling your skills will reset their cooldown. You need to use both the backpack and the chest piece for this um rigor gear gear set because you have unlimited skills. This is too much. This might make um turrets and stuff viable in PvP because then like you drop it and then you did <laughs> destroy it and you got it back. You drop it again. <laughs> Oh, okay. Shock. You're right. Appreciate that, man. So, okay. So, I mean, is there a cooldown on there or something? Oh, you okay? It's showing the shock numbers, but it's not actually shocking. There you go. Y'all, bet. I'm gonna tell you something, man. Hazard protection is gonna be more important than ever. You're gonna have to really make a build to defend against this <laughs> shotgun, man. They freaking gave you a shock turret on on a weapon. Anybody? Let me ask y'all a question. Do y'all remember? Um. Do y'all remember Division One, right? What did? What were the tech? What was the technician? The tacticians stats because you know what ongoing directive is close to uh, predators mark right but what were the tacticians stats can anybody tell me that because this is a straight skill gear set and it has skill haste and skill duration for its pieces I just want to know how how um, how this is uh in relation to tactician. But that'd be great if somebody could let me know that. Well let's put this on. Let's put this on with the vial mask. Alright. So look, you shoot somebody with a shotgun, you automatically hit him with a status effect. You activate vial mask and you get this freaking poison. Hey, the devs trying to make people mad with this shotgun man. <laughs> look at that man. If y'all don't try to raid and play the raid after this, using this shotgun, come on, man. You guys could do, you guys could do really hard content with a shotgun like this, man. There's one of my subscribers, man. I, um, he requested a build a long time ago. His name is Paul Sargent, and he he's the one who asked me to make a, a, a um, what you call it, a uh, Sweet Dreams shotgun build for Legendary. He is in love with shotguns, and I'm sure he's going to absolutely love this shotgun. But this is the second exotic shotgun that's come out so far, besides the Sweet Dreams, and I love shotguns too. So, alright, let's 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 check out the mechanical animal. It's like, I'm just playing. <laughs> um, oh, the scalpel. But we gotta get out of in combat again. Hey man, let me tell you something. Toxic bill, yeah. Yeah, man. It is about to be over with. That shotgun is probably gonna be a, f a lot of people's favorites because it directly damages your health, man. Let's. That is freaking unreal, bro. Oh, uh, where's the scalpel at? Perfectly. I guess they didn't want to put perfectly in the perfect perfection, right? So it's future perfection. I think the other one is future perfect, huh? Is it, Doc? Yeah, future perfect. Yep. 
Yeah, so this is called Future Perfection. Man, come on, man. You know we gotta, you know we gotta put this stoke, this digital scope on. All right. So what this does. Increases your skill tier, right? So right now, I'm a skill tier, skill tier one. I got a sniper turret. <coughs> oh. Oof. You hear how that sounds? Alright. Just like that. I got a tier, tier two. You are no longer in a group. Sniper turret now. Tier three. Boom. Boom. Um, increase the difficulty. See if that if I kill that with the sniper turret, will it increase the skill tier? Oh wow! Nope. You have to actually get the the kill with the weapon in order for it to increase the skill tier. So you could strategically set up your sniper. Your sniper turret, like across the map somewhere, and you be in another place. Become like a two pronged sniper. <laughs> oh, no, this is nice. I'm feeling that, I'm feeling it. Switch gaming, capacitor, vial mask, and status effect, brand set, OP, and PvE. Alright, look, this is what we about to do. We about to run a mission with a toxic build, y'all. Me and Doc here, we're going to run a mission. We could really see what this is like. Just let me light up my build. I'll jump on you. You know what we're gonna do, guys? <laughs> we're gonna run Creeping Death so we can spread all of that. Another agent is now in your group. Wait. Let me see. I don't think we need the four piece Hunter Fury, but we're gonna rock with it just because. Because, you know, Scorpio, they don't have any more SMGs, though. They, there's no SMGs that came out, correct? It's just, uh... No, just right. no SMGs. No SMGs, so we can just rock with... Uh, let's just rock with this NSYNC tactical vector. Um, you know what? We're about to maximize damage, guys. We gotta run the Eclipse Protocol backpack, you know? This is gonna be insane. Could use the Pestilence, right? But what fun would that be <laughs> when we got this shotgun here? So, you know what? Hold on, hold on. We, I told you we about to maximize damage here, so. Where are my badger tough? Ooh, wait a minute. Um, I think all I want is the... Shotgun damage and SMG damage, and then I'm going to use for the, the gloves, contractors. For the armor damage, because it does damage to armor. And the chest piece gives you... Chest 
There's no point in using the chess piece if I'm not even using. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna use um perfectly unbreakable. That shotgun damage, right? Oh, I have forgot. Don't we have an optimization station? <laughs> I could increase these stats. Yeah, boy. Yeah, I was looking at my gear like, man, 99 out of 100, but it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Did I take the chest piece out? Where is it at? When did I get this chest piece? Oh, it's headshot damage, not crit damage. Alright. <sighs> Yo, one for summit, two for a heroic mission. Type that in the chat, y'all. Give me a second. Kind of figured y'all wanted to do a heroic mission. You just want to, you just want to see it work real quick. Um. Yo, in the meantime, yo, yo, join the Discord, man. I just drive. What up, Clay? Look at this guy. Been a long time member. You know, he got that. That yellow badge. Join that Discord, man. This is probably one of the <laughs> one of the latest Discords you'll see. Hey, Mark of Blaze, welcome to the stream. Let's go. Hey, man, cool build by the way, man. Your legend killer build, man. It it this it sparked a whole array of build ideas surrounding that. And then you know when I just threw the deflector shield in there, you know it's like kind of like the other half, you know, so I got the, the, the damage or protection from elites and then I'm, I'm protecting myself from all those purples and, and reds that come through to try and, you know, wreck my day. <laughs> Go subscribe to, uh, to Marco Blaze if you haven't, yo. But yeah, this, uh, you're going to have fun with this. Yo, yo, appreciate that, Wizzy, upgrading the membership to advance, man. That's what's up to the Identity Rebels. Right now, at the moment, this uh, shotgun, meta alert incoming, man. That's all I got to say. It directly damages your health, man. Just for that alone, it's worth, like, come on, man. This, this right here, what they're doing right here is making it, they're making it viable for, uh, they're making health viable. Because now... You're going to need to stack health. For something to directly damage your health, man, health is going to be viable. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. So let's put this shotgun damage on here. Let's take this AR damage off. Oh, rifle damage, matter of fact. Get this SMG damage. Told you, man, we maximizing here, bro. Let's get the crit up. They did say this has filters, right? The mods. They said they were going to filter it. Filter options. Oh, there we go. Yeah, look at that. It tells you how many mods you got and everything. So, yeah. Uh, so once you click on it, you, click, you you hit filter options. And then you just, uh, you just go to whatever mod you want. This is great. Alright, you see, look, look. <laughs> Massive trying to get us happy before they announced Div 3, right? <laughs> look at all this great stuff, man. <laughs> but as I said, right? I said it before. It's a love-hate relationship. We all know it, man. Come on. Let me tell you something. No matter how many people complain about this game, you know, you got a lot of people who complain and, you know, make videos about it. That's fine. You know, you can have your opinions. You're entitled to your opinions. You know, I try to be real about my opinions and everything, but... At the end of the day, man, you can't name one game that's like the division conceptually. 
Division two knows they got the best. They know it, man. They know they have. Come on, man. Since the beginning on Division one, there was nothing like this game, man. Even with the bugs, but you got to give you got to give Master some credit. Appreciate that, Lock, man. Welcome to the stream. You got to give Division credit because they're. T I've done I've done some research, and you know, there's a lot that goes into game development. The the lines of code you will never be able to understand it until you see it until you understand it yourself so you have to give credit where it's due and i mean from a business perspective they can't really admit that they're working on other projects but we know what they're doing man you know you, we know what they're doing but at the end of the day like look at all of this stuff man look this is some great content and this game is it's a great game you know i just think that they need, they need to get back to their roots and you know go back to the original plan of how they were doing stuff on Div 1 and build on that and you know it'll be good <clears throat> so Doc what mission you want to do man Jefferson <laughs> I think that's the token mission to do yeah dude let's do it uh Grand Washington Hotel Jefferson Trace and let's go Hey Nelson, I'm doing good, man. I'm doing great this morning. I wanted to get on here early, show you this, show you all this, uh, this PTS because they dropping some good stuff. This is the dawn of the hybrid, the dawn of the hybrid, the era of the hybrid and skill build, straight up. And you better have your, <laughs> you better have your hazard protection builds ready. All right. Do this. Alright, this is heroic, yeah. Matter of fact, let me um Hmm. I'll just uh Let me get it let me use the drone. Black Tusk are going after the shade node. They get to it. Man, Just Division 3 ain't gonna be no them. single player game. Do you know what separates Division from other games? Is the fact. Sit down. What is, what's your problem? Huh? Don't. Don't. Come on to me. Oh. My body. Whoops. <laughs> Division th the the reason the, the the reason why Division Three is not going to be a single player experience is because let me just ask y'all a question. Y'all remember when they released that Dark Zone uh, trailer when that first came out? There's no other game that's like Division Two, the Division Two Dark Zone, and has that type of uh, mode or whatever. Well, let's let's chill a little bit. Let's stop this guy. Okay, so right now, when we apply status effect, okay, it's gonna automatically give me toxic delivery. I'm, I'm tempted to use Ridgeways, but the vial mask, the vial mask with this shotgun is, is just too much, man. Yeah, it's a single shot. I don't like this drone. is kind of annoying. Huh? Bother me. Look at that. Can't pick that up. <laughs> right. Look at this. So okay, you see how they're jumping down, right? Falling down. This is why you don't need the four-piece hunter Shuri, because after killing the enemy, that's what it makes them do. It makes them get disoriented. But with this, all you got to do is hit them with it, and they'll drop down just like that. Well. <laughs> Crazy dude. <laughs> uh, Don Dante, you're looking at the new gear right now, man. You know, it, I don't really want to put on put on that um that four piece uh bridge gear or whatever, because all that does it's just it just increases your skill damage. This makes you like really OP skill build if that's what you want to see. But let me let me grab my turret. Get that, man. <laughs> Sounds weird you saying that. Let me carry my turret. Exactly. What you doing, buddy? 
Did I say you could come in here? No. Just chill for a little bit. Alright. Back to business. I gotta test something real quick. Hold on. Because I said it directly damages health, okay? So remember those dogs and uh, chungies, right? Those those dogs and chungas. That, that bar is health bar. So I need to test to see if this gun does anything to their health. Okay. Immediate medical assistance needed. Oh, you see the position of the turret is out of her position. Let me grab it. <laughs> and throw it over here. That's great. That is awesome. Warning. Unauthorized yeah, network access. access detected. Damn, they've already reached the shade note. Get there as fast as you can. Tony Stark of Division. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. You know, people don't realize if, you know, how much this, this game has to offer as far as like builds and all that, man. Hey, um. <sighs> Hold on a sec. Oh my god. Ah, this shotgun, bro. <laughs> you know what we about to do? You know, hold on. We about to put on Creeping Death, man. We got to put on uh, Creeping Death now. System malfunctioning. So now, when I hit him with the shotgun, it's going to spread. Get that. System the status effects, at least. Not the, uh, the scorpion bite. Only thing is, is the cream of death has um, a cooldown, right? Come on over. Wait. It does spread. Oh, okay, no, no. It, the health, it doesn't spread to uh, robots and stuff. So look, with with, wick, with creeping death, the scorpion bite it spreads too, not just the status effects. It's like you're inflicting them with a. Oh man, it's nice. All right, this is the test right here. It's Chunga. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Yo, shout out to Fat Ninja, man. My guy. What's up, bro? How's it going, my guy? Ah, oh, man, I left my turret back here. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same thing, man. <laughs> Got to pick up my turret. Okay, um, there is a new brand set. I forgot about that. So after this mission, I'm gonna put together a little something with that. Because isn't, isn't that skill based too? The brand set. Yeah, man. Yep. I'll tell y'all something, man. Um, hold on. Get that link again. So, uh, insurmountable build I dropped. Uh. <coughs> couple days ago right the legendary build whatnot I had a, a discord invite right I invited a lot of people to a discord a lot of people joined it and you know there are people in my discord man that that just 
that want to help people out. But I want to tell you that that Discord is is set up in a way that you can help yourselves. You know, I I set up the infrastructure so that you can be able to help yourselves, be able to um, you know, possibly get through the raid. And you have all the resources at your disposal, man. You got a raid sign-up list. You could actually start a raid yourself. You could create a raid sign-up list. There's a bot that actually helps you along to do that. And then once you got the people, you know, you could do the raid. And then, you know, it also has... Um, I can't get over this. It also has... Uh, once you join, you could, you could click to see whether you play on PS4, um, whether you play on Xbox or PC, and it's going to be able to identify you based on, you know, what you pick. So your name is going to be blue for PS4, red for PC, and it's going to be uh, green for Xbox. So you be like, oh, he plays on Xbox. Let me shoot him a message. Be like, yo, let's get together for a raid. So, yeah, man, join that Discord. It's growing fast and especially going to be good for, you know, upcoming games in Division 3. Trying to build something solid, man, and it's looking really good right now. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to put this down, bro. Oh, and it has a. This is a. This is a 612 variant, so it has a. a basically, you could just um, reload it with one. Oh, look at this boss. This boss is getting disoriented and shocked, bro. I've never seen this happen before, man. Like this. Look at that. Now you know what. Aw, oh, man, they might have to nerf this thing, man. <laughs> I can't give away all the secrets, man. I was about to tell y'all something, but, man, I can't. That's what's up. That's what's up, game time. Game time, let me ask you, are you on PC? Huh? To stack a Moritz over in Iron Raid. Ooh. In Iron Horse. See, that's what I'm saying. You can use the shotgun to probably, you know, just stun lock her. So she won't. They were trying to access the shade so she won't shoot her um, grenade launcher or whatever. But there's another helicopter mm. inbound. Looks like Black Tusk reinforcements. Yeah, they should. They should do crossplay. I mean, that's a big thing that will help our games. I think Outriders is going to come with crossplay when it comes out in February. But. Yo, game time. Let me ask you something, man. Are you on the Discord right now? <laughs> look, man, look, I ain't got to say nothing about Nerf, bro. All I got to say is that you can see what's happening right here. <laughs> I guess this is their way of helping you out to go against like legendary enemies in uh, Summit because people complain about them being too aggressive and whatnot. This is definitely going to slow that aggression down. For sure. Forgot to pick up my turret again. Oh yeah, don't worry, you're going to get used to it. That you could sneak up on me? That what you thought? They bring in shock, man. They making shock relevant, cause I don't remember shock being relevant anywhere, except for shock turrets on Div One. No, you can't optimize gear mods. They might change that. I don't know. I don't know why you can't. You should be able to. up the turret baby yeah that's what I'm about to do pick it up doc what you running man uh running the capacitor with my skill build all right I'm a, you I'm, can actually um I'm, 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 I'm the capacitor's got an eight times um scope so you can, you can press, zoom in you can press the scope in yeah man what I've never seen so that on the exotic back. apart from the big horn wow let me let me inspect your build real quick Oh no! You trying to kill me? 
I'm gonna wait till we finish this area. Morning. Good morning, who's that? Uh, a new person. <laughs> okay. Look, oh, Rick. Hold on a sec. Slick Rick. Oh, did you just join the Discord? I did, sir, and you sound like the gentleman in the videos I watch all the time. <laughs> hey, look, that right there, guys, is an example of how easy it is to join the Discord and make yourself known. I just sent out a Discord invite to one of the viewers of you guys here, and he hopped in the Discord like, hey, what's up? I can't see anything. That's yep, pretty cool, I, man. I was watching you live, and, uh... I was really impressed with how actually I built my whole Twitch off of you. I'm still working on it, but your videos are ridiculous, man. You're really good at what you do. Ah, uh, man. You know, I'm I'm humbled. Honestly, I really am. I really appreciate that. I just try to come out with the best content, man. You know, yeah, I have to be passionate about it. That's one thing, though. You know. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's one thing that I, I you said you're trying to do Twitch. One thing I suggest is that. Don't ever compromise your own vision, you know. Yep. Make sure that look at that, look at that. Make make sure that your vision represents what what you want to do, and and you'll okay. always come out winning in the end, bro. All I gotta say. Yeah, good advice. Very good advice. Cause I mean, you won't feel good about yourself, man. You, you won't. Yeah. It's funny, cause I'm in this little room, man. I was so influenced to just like at least try it and you should see my setup man I got like <laughs> this little tiny box light above my uh, above my monitor and then my camera's right below it and I'm using like these mic adapters to like make sure the lights are right. Come on man you gotta start somewhere right? It's great dude uh, I got so inventive with my green screen, green screen and the PVC pipe behind me hanging on the wall I, I was just so impressed with everything first timer, bro. It's like I yeah, did it. That's right. That's right. Congratulations. <laughs> man. That's right. Man. Yeah. <laughs> what do you What are you guys up to? Well, we're we're on um we're on the PTS. Are you on PC or what are you on? I I am on PC. Well, if you want to join us, you're welcome. We're only it's just us two. Okay. On division right now. If you want to join, you can. Cause we're just okay. testing stuff in the PTS and um, um, you get Doc. Can you add? Can you add you? Because I don't want to. I'm only on one screen. Yeah, man. And he can invite you in here. Okay. That's what's up, Dante. Oh, you, you said you said PTS. What? I, I'm a little confused oh. by that. Okay, never mind. I, never mind. <laughs> Cause you won't be able to play with us because we're playing the player test server. This right here oh, is. The, Player test server for uh, Title Update 12 is, is showcasing all the new gear and um, weapons that's coming out with this patch. And so we're just in the mission testing out stuff. Now let me oh, okay. Let, let me inspect. Um, let me inspect your build, Doc. Your skill build. So this is Doc G's skill build with the capacitor. Okay. And he said there was a what is it, eight time scope on there. Yep. So you could zoom this in and just sit back with this with this AR. Oh, it's that's pretty awesome. stable too. All right. Yeah, we're gonna use this. This build is is uh pretty nice. How dare you forget to pick up your tier six turret, Doc? <laughs> okay. Sorry, boss. I did, man. It's good to actually be able to pick up the turret and carry it with it. It's just not it. Even if you have, even even if you have high skill haste, man, you still want like, you know, positioning isn't is important. Get yep. off of there, What's your problem?
All right, let me see. You didn't help. Ah, oh, man, I wish you would have called your drone off. <laughs> I was trying to see if it was damaging his, his health. System curtailed. It's down, man. It's off. Yeah, yeah. So is the dog. <laughs> System reactivated. I love this shotgun, man. The Scorpio. I want to research the lore, man, of what they were talking about. Um, uh. <laughs> it's no use, guys. You might as well just. This exotic AR, the capacitor, it's hitting quite hard, man. I, I was wondering why yeah. it was hitting quite hard, but I'm getting an extra 30% from the six tiers. Weapon damage. Yeah, from the six yeah, tiers. Yeah, man. So, is overcharge really worth it? What do you mean, is it worth it? So, like, you can build a six tier, uh, so, like, turret and drone build, obviously, without it, but what, like, is it really give you enough? Because I've never been able. I usually run like something like, uh, you know, mechanical animal um, as a secondary. But I currently run glass cannon on my on my build because it just gives so much more damage. But now I'm thinking about the uh, Costos backpack yeah. to be able to overcharge. So look at the stream right now. I'm 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 inspecting Doc's build. He's a great builder, by the way, and um. He has a Costas Gold Bag, right? Doesn't have Future Perfect or anything. He just has Instinct Force Secondary. And he, you know, maximized skill damage, basically. He has a Costas Gold Bag so that he can every now and then go into overcharge by tossing a grenade. Costas also yeah. gives you extra grenade, ammo capacity, armor capa uh, kit capacity, and, you know, it gives you a lot of good stuff, right? So, yeah, it's definitely worth it, man. Interesting, interesting. <laughs> This whole time I've been playing with glass cannon. Hey Robert, that's a that's a really good representation of uh, the shotgun, bro. It's uh, pestilence on crack. Okay, so the shotgun does not apply that uh, that scorpion spike to the robots. Man, uh oh, 
signs critical. Oh my god. Incapacitated. I should have got behind cover, man. <laughs> All right. Agent just cool. Signs. Zero. We can just go back to the base. I'm gonna go back to the base. We saw what the everything that did. Unfortunately, I didn't complete the mission. <laughs> Appreciate the support, y'all. <laughs> But I mean, yeah, you know, we live streaming right here. Everything you can't, I can't edit not, edit that stuff out. <laughs> All right. Capacitor. Let me see that. What you the new brand set? Okay. Caesar's guard gives you perfectly skilled. Okay, skill health, skill damage, and skill efficiency. You know what? As soon as I said skill efficiency, you know what came into my head? Memento. Exactly. So. That's gonna I be. I say you think you can stack it. <laughs> of course, man. Uh, nice. Nice. Okay. Um. Okay, I thought it was skill health. No, 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 no. The wyvern. What kind of wyvern we're using? A mask? We're in the lab right now. Good to see you. Hey, what's up, girl? Skill damage, status effects. Boom. That's cool. Oh my god, yo. Ah, I got an idea. It's <laughs> about to be nuts, man. Alright. Appreciate that, Alpha, man. Shout out to Alpha, man. Up and coming content creator. Happens to be my little cousin. You know, go subscribe to his channel, man. That's what's up. Alright. Wyvern mask. Um, what else gives me skill damage? Two piece. Uh, kind of you. But I'm trying to use the three piece. Impress International. All right. So the two piece gives you skill damage. So I want one wyvern, one and three piece. Uh, Impress. How to get up the knee pads. Hello, Agent. Pleasure to see you. Perfectly calculated. That's not, you know, that's not, you won't, you don't want to use that over memento or anything else for that matter. One thing I will say, man, these devs need to, sometimes they're making bad decisions when it comes to like talents. But I give somebody $20 right now if you tell me what what um that one chess piece talent does that puts a random <laughs> that puts a random status effect round in your in your ammo ammo what is it called talking about special ammo yeah tip of the spear negotiator dilemma no 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 it, there's a talent oh I'm going forget. directly no no I can't remember it it's, it's really retarded honestly Caesar's guard. Do I want to use Caesar's guard though? I don't think skill health is important, man. They should change that, man. I mean, maybe. I guess with a shield build, but I don't know. Get this. Thanks for the business.
Enjoy your purchasing. Need some wire knee pads. Asking you shall receive. Place this. Uh, international. Hitting your keys in the background there, Doc. What in the background? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Lurk is reassigned. That's the talent. It's called reassigned. I have never used that, that talent, ever. And it's, it's useless. Hey, type, <laughs> type one in the chat. If you've used reassigned, exactly. All right. So, got a three piece Empress International because the third piece gives you 10% skill efficiency. And since I have, wait, this is a weapon core? Why is Empress International Weapon Corps? What can I do for you? And this one's armor. Okay, here's a skill one. I don't care about perfectly calculated. I don't need that. Not I mean perfect perfectly skilled, I don't need that. So let's use something else. What can I use with this? Um, yo, chat. What should I use with this glass cannon? I'm trying to do wait, kinetic momentum. Water. Let me see. Hey, Doc, what did you have on your on your skill build, bro? Spark. No. Glass cannon. Weapon. Right. Okay, see, so reassign. Killing an enemy adds one round of a random special ammo in your sidearm. <sighs> Please. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use glass cannon. Let's try glass cannon out. Anything I can do for you? Need to sort through my mods because there are clearly some mods that I don't need, like a 10.7 skill haste. I already have three maximum skill haste, so. Hey, Doc. Yeah, man. You mind, uh, because I can hear the key strokes. Oh, uh, yeah, cool, dude. Thank I'll you. Turn it down. Oh, the capacitor. I'm getting 30%. So, damage to armor. Backs with skill damage.
Oops. Hey y'all, Reflector Shield is absolutely viable. You're right, man. Spotter is is Spotter is what I was gonna go with. I don't know why I did that. I'm not really a big fan of glass cannon in most cases, but sometimes it is is good. So. Uh, the new skill. Oh, <laughs> I'm tripping, y'all. There's a new pulse skill, isn't it? Hold on. Look at that. Look at that. The Achilles pulse. Now, what does this do? Target a single enemy with a pulse, which identifies weaknesses, highlights th highlights them, and causes damage to those areas to take headshot damage. <laughs> what? Useful for solo snipers or as a support skill. <laughs> skill user painting targets for your teammates. Oh my god, bro. If this if this skill wasn't made for a build idea I was thinking about, I don't know what is. It's like the devs was reading my mind or something. Okay, um zone health. It does sixty percent damage to zone health. Duration is sixty percent in the skill. Oh my god! So let's throw on that. Hey, hey! Shout out! Who, who said that, yo? Yo! Shout out to Javier Nunez, man. Thanks for thanks for uh for showing me that, man. Doc, did you hear that, bro? Yeah, man. All right. All right, y'all. Let me just let me pull out this Achilles pulse real quick. And this is just a, a, a regular pause. It ain't no. Look at that. So wherever you aim at, that you see how the the Achilles probably like I want to target that enemy or that enemy. Oh. Wow, bro. So no matter where you hit them. So once you hit them with the pulse, right? You hit them with the pulse. It's gonna identify the weak points, right? This is better done, and in, in, this is sorry. I need to get it. I need to put. It. So look, the Mantis identifies weak points already. You know what I'm saying? And then it deals 50% damage to targets that aren't looking at you. So you, you, you pair this with the Mantis. And you got something. Something fierce, man. Yes, you're marked. Doc, we gotta do a mission with this, bro. <laughs> Let's go.
about to do a pure. Galpul. Oh my god. Dude, I've got so much skill damage stacked on this build. <laughs> <laughs> you got the same build on? No, no, no. I've got um, different. I've got force multiplier and a backpack. I've got the new. Oh, you got the new set. Okay, y'all, this. This is a the, this is the official skill build that you need to run with the gear set right here. This is how you maximize everything, pretty much. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I've seen that's just basically parrot drone skill build on crack. And I'm not really interested in seeing that. Personally, we can see it when we when Doc with Doc is uh with me. Let's head over to Grand Washington. Oh yeah, hey Voodoo, trust me, bro. I love that inventory space, but you know what? I'm not. From the control point in I'm not uh basically. What was I about to say? I lost my train of thought. I'm not a hoarder. So, I know some people who are hoarders. <laughs> that no matter how high the inventory space is put up, it's always going to be at max capacity. Yep. But I appreciate the extra space. Hold on, hold on. Don't do nothing, Doc. Get in. Their codenames are damage to the body. <laughs> Headshot damage to the body. So you can have two people with the Achilles pulse that both aim bet the cooldown is pretty crazy here. I don't know man, you might this this is Yeah, you gotta have like uh some some good skill haste. Wow. Agent down. <laughs> Can you pick me up, Doc? You gonna let me die? <laughs> nah, man. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Oh snap! I didn't know he was on you like that. Oh good. <clears throat> All right, let me let me get, let me get my uh, stuff right. Gotta get my sniper skills on point. Uh, I thought I had the decoy on. Alright. So, the Achilles Pulse. I need to switch bills because... In order for that thing to really... Do what it needs to do. 
And I didn't even, no, I, did, I forgot to uh, put on. Forgot to roll skill damage everywhere. Mental. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use the capacitor in this my secondary. Fifteen second cooldown. I got skill haste everywhere now. Alright. Better. You're gonna have to do this room by room. We have zero intel on how they're set up on site. Yeah, I like the way the Martian rifle sounds too, man. I don't know, man. I, I this Achilles pulse. Where? I think <sighs> I gotta think about it. I gotta think about how it's gonna be good, man. Because it, let's see, so that weak point, okay, the weak point is what gives you headshot damage. You can't shoot him anywhere in the, in the body. You have to hit that weak point. And then it'll apply the headshot damage. So for the... Let me see. Alright, so his weak point is right there. Okay. So I guess that, helped, that dealt headshot damage. Hey, what y'all think? What do y'all think this kill these bosses? What... what Best way is it utilized, do you think? DPS build? Headshot build? Like. Let me pause that. See, this might be good for just like, um, cause you know, usually with sniper builds, I use, um, yeah, this ain't working out. For sniper builds, I use a decoy, right? Decoy is really good with the mantis. So I guess the Achilles boss will be good for a sniper build, a sniper DPS build. chest piece this thing seems like it has to be like really calculated with a build so um where is it at um so we gonna I like the concept of it Really do. So we're gonna we're gonna rock with it for now. It has a thirty six second cooldown, so I 
Let's, let's get some skill haste on here. Filter. All right, what's my skill haste on Achilles Pulse now? 25 seconds. That ain't bad. That's not bad. Or a DPS build, that's not bad. Right, so. Hmm. I don't know if I want to use two snipers. I'm going to use the Mantis because the Achilles Pulse gives me the extra damage. The Mantis gives me extra damage, so... Hey, dude. The, um... Backpack on the Riga... The Riga gear set? It automatically gives you your skill Rig. back. Continue yeah, hardwired, dude. Let me see. Got no cool let me see. It. Let me see. Infinite skills. Look at that holster. That's awesome, man. Look at that. So you're gonna destroy your skill. Wait, no. But you have to destroy the secret mines in order to get the. Uh, Get them back. Ah, yeah, got it, got it. You can't let so them attack. Them. So it doesn't work with the, um, no, it doesn't work with the infinite seekers. You know what I'm saying? I'll just destroy my, um. Got it. Tell you what, man, when it comes to sniping, you have to <laughs> really get in that mindset in order to focus. Yes, boss, you have been marked. Get some healing over there. Ah, dang it! I marked her, her drone. Might as well use it. Serious trauma detected. Miss me. They want to waste that on a on a red. System disrupted. System reactivated. Peek up.
I think that'll be the way to go with this Achilles pause, man. You gotta, you have to make it like at least with like three skill tiers with headshot damage in order to make the to have the uh, Achilles pause good enough. In order for the Achilles pause to be good enough to, to you know work fluently with the build, I think personally. Well, I'm a, I mean, yeah, it could be Defender Drone, but I'm a really big fan of the decoy, especially with the Mantis and Sniper builds, because every headshot resets the, the, the Mantis us, uh, decoy's cooldown. They're shooting at my decoy right now, and I already got another one. It's really good in both EVP and PVE. Basically, the Achilles Pulse is really good to single out targets, dealing a lot of damage to them. Because right now, if they don't see me, okay, I have Glass Cannon, I have the Mantis, and I have the Achilles Pulse. So which one are you? Okay. Roblox. Try to take out his pack. Shotgun. Decoy. Serious trauma detected. I'll see you again, Roblox. Immediate ah, dang it. assistance needed. Agent incapacitated. Watch out, Doc. The, the shotgun is coming behind you. Oh, good man. I've got um, protecting from leads on so Gotta watch out for the reds, dude. you're running <laughs> you using insurmountable bro with freaking the shotgun Scorpio is a put um hollow man on wow I guess it just goes goes perfectly with that then huh Look what that Scorpio did to him. <laughs> That's insane. He can't do anything, bro. He's stun locked. I'm sorry, but I gotta put on this amount of too. A freaking hollow man at. Stay here, dog. I'll be right back. Yeah, man.
Yeah, this is the P PTS still. Yeah, Alpha, the best way to like, get a game in PC, I think one of the best ways is to build one. But if, if you don't want to do that, you can get, also get one, a generic one, where you get, where the specs are or what you need and everything. All right. All right, Robert, man. Thanks for stopping through, man. Appreciate it. Said, in, in, you know, I got a bleed build in mind. I do have a bleed build in mind, bro. I don't know if I'm not really a big fan of showing my builds on the PTS, though, man. I don't know. Some of them I, I like because the bleed is gonna be really. All right, we want to replace this with the. I mean, just just know that. The Scorpio shotgun is going to be in a lot of builds. It's going to be in a lot of people's builds. Because, it, look, man, these stats on here have two... Wait, no, that was a capacitor. The capacitor had two 15% critical hit damage attachments. But let's head back over here. Because I never used the insurmountable in a heroic mission. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm, on, I'm only on PC. You know what? I have an Xbox also. I used. I was actually playing Godfall the other day and I made a build on that too. Really good game, you know. And I'm focusing my attention a lot on this at the moment. But what I'm saying, I used the controller on that game because I use controllers for fighting games. And I have an Xbox One and I plan on getting other consoles, but I just don't have enough time to play anything other than PC. I can't spread myself like that, you know. But that's why I encourage you guys to join the Discord as well, because there are people in there that play on all different platforms. Doc, you good, man? We you can talk to me whenever, bro. It's all good. Oh, good man. Um, hold on. Let me give y'all another. Oh. Give me one sec. Other thing, man, I don't want to make this stream like a five hour stream either, man. Like, I wanted to show y'all as much as I can. Make it a couple hours and we're good. That's the Discord link. If y'all didn't, if y'all haven't seen it yet, go ahead and join up. You're free. Bro, you got a PS5, Dante? Hey, lucky you, bro. Like, you know how many people don't have that? That's nice. You know, Godfall is doing something ambitious, man. It's like kind of like the first of its kind with something like that, a looter at melee, and you know, it's yep. uh, exclusive for like next gen consoles and whatnot. What am I, what am I getting cover for, man? Come on now. Hey, look. <laughs> This thing deflects all the way from the other side. It's funny. I wish they were on the gun because that's when it does the most damage. Sniper build on, right? Yeah. The big horn got his rounds increased. Why is it so hard for us to kill these guys? <laughs> uh, the 
regulars. There's actually a good build for the regulars that you can use. Well, for PV PVE man, the regulars is uh, I mean, there's a, like few a uh, few builds that work with that, you know. says on my UI that the Scorpio has 99 rounds. Magazine? Yeah, man. That's a visual bug, I guess. The Scorpio does work with, it does work with creeping death. <laughs> and it spreads all of that. I had to build on earlier. Let me put it on Fatal. Yeah, man, um, I don't, would you use the capacitor in your skill build, or would, would you not? See, there goes Creeping Death right there. Creeping Death has a cooldown, though, so you won't be able to spread it as often with the shotgun, so Creeping Death, I think, works better with, like, um, things that have high cooldown skills status effects because then you can synergize it better with creeping death i mean you know this is cool the creeping death cooldown is um is it like 20 seconds you remember so it's, i mean I, pretty good to have Oh yeah, you're right. It is, you're right. It is easy. Yes, for the skill build. Yeah. Try it with this. Another batch of reinforcements just headed down from the roof. Try it with cauterize. Definitely gonna see people in the um, Scorpio with the shield. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I had on, man. Um, Clips protocol. Backpack. Creeping death. Badger tough chest piece. The contract is closed.
Yeah. And we got more um we got more loadouts, man. Loadout possibilities too. They gave us a couple extra. Looks like they're taking up defensive positions around a mobile command post topside. If they've got a command Yeah, man, I like all your build suggestions, man. You know, there cuz there are a lot of ways you could make this shotgun uh, you know, builds with it. There's so many ways. Weapon just looks awesome. <sighs> Download initiated. And what's so amazing about this shotgun is you can apply this status or whatever from like across the map. Only thing is you won't be doing as much damage, you know, because you're not close up, but you're you're still applying that status and that scorpion sting. having the most fun so far with this this weapon I mean a capacitor of course you want to use that that's like your standard and the good thing about the capacitor that weapon it's really good because um, people complain about the 30 rounds but I think that they wanted to make it so that oh you're not using it like a TPS weapon you have to just use it to support your skills and I think that was a smart thing because uh, if you want to use like a DPS weapon they use the new named uh, same assault rifle variant with perfectly in sync, you know, and then then you could like add a twenty round, add another twenty rounds to it, which will um, give you the sustain you need while you know using it in DPS. That's a good uh, distinction I think that they made. So you can get up, bro. And give you permission. Got you, Doc. This time I'm not gonna die on my way there. Don't worry. Another you owe me. 
How come we can't revive our people like that? Give me some def defibrillators. Night boss. <laughs> it's all three priority targets down to the count. You know what I, you know what I wish they had a uh, urban MDR exotic man. I really wish they had one of those. Well, Doc, can you explain to them a little bit when they should expect TU12, like you explained it to me? Was they asking? Yeah, so apparently um, there's going to be one week up till this Wednesday of testing and then they're going to have a week off at which point they're going to test all the um, or try and rebalance or modify anything they need to modify and then they're going to go live again with those modifications for one week and you know from the way it is um, you would assume that Following that week, they'll have another week off. Reinforcements and entering the building on the ground floor. It will go Roger. live after that, so five weeks. And you can look at their forward. timelines, it, it pretty much matches up with um, when season four is going to come out with um, Nightmare, I think it is. Yeah. It's called Nightmare. Yep. Thanks. That sounds, sounds pretty. Uh... Sounds like a good plan for them. Sounds like the smartest plan, actually. <laughs> Question though, does this shotgun, does it provide some steps to make this sort of make the lead from the which way is productive? Assistance needed. Can't hear you, bro. It's a lot of background noise um, in the game. A lot of sound effects. Mm -hmm. This is really. This shotgun is really gonna help out in Legendary. I'm gonna calm down their aggressiveness a lot. Hello, boys. Have to calm down a little bit up there, buddy. Oh. Let me. <laughs> Bro, hold on, hold on. I didn't know that was a, a goal, goal bar. Uh. I mean, you still have to actually kind of, you know, pay attention to what you're doing. You can't just fire away without doing nothing. Because you can die using a shotgun, so you got to be careful. But still, man, it's a really good, good advantage you got. All clear. Black Tusk appears to have abandoned the location. Let me see my damage I got. <laughs> you did... 1.9? What? <laughs> oh man, not bad. <laughs> we 
had to. We had to do it, Doc. Yep. <sighs> All right, head back to the base. Hey, anything else y'all want to see, man? Anything else y'all want to see right now? You know what? You know what we're gonna do right now? We're gonna test this shotgun in Legendary. So we head to the summit and see how good it performs in Legendary content. Hands on it, all hell will break loose. So that should be your next target. There's more. What you call that? Scorpio is going to be the talk of the town, y'all. Telling you that. We're going to grab test subject. Perfectly in sync. Yeah, we don't, we don't have to throw um, damage to targets out of cover on this bad boy. For any of y'all who haven't seen the optimization station, I know you everybody hasn't, so this is it right here, okay? You can upgrade exotics, you can upgrade anything. But for this, let me cap out my armor. But you know the chest piece upgrades. It takes um, black tusk materials, and you get that from killing um, black tusk bosses, right? So I need some more materials for that. Mento backpack. Yeah, you can't upgrade mods. Okay, I don't have enough materials, so what is that material with the flag? Um, let me see. Show resources. Okay. Um, vital tool for optimizing all sorts of equipment acquired by completing dark zone, landmarks, control points, and certain floors on the summit. They really want you to work for a maxed out build, don't they? Alright. You ready, Doc? Oh yeah, I gotta um, I gotta reroll this, this AR. Well yeah, this is the weapon I was talking about, the test subject. Cause initially it has 30 rounds. You put a 20 round mag, it gives you 50, and this is the one you use for like DPS builds and stuff. You don't want to use that exotic weapon, uh, the capacitor for a DPS build, because first of all, it doesn't even give you the weapon damage for DPS. It gives you weapon damage for skill builds. They really wanted it to be catered to skill builds. So let's throw some damage to wait a minute yo doc doesn't damage to armor work with skills right so if i'm gonna be using uh, i think it's damage to targets i think it's no it's damage to armor man but i'm not gonna be using that with the um shield anyway No, TU12 is not already out. This is the PTS, the player test server. Good to see you. Where, um... Basically, you can test everything that is coming, though. So, this is the, the purposes of this is so that you can, uh... Test out your builds and... See what's too OP. <laughs> what needs to be buffed, what needs to be nerfed, and whatnot. So, that's what this is for. We need you to secure a skyscraper. This may take a while. Hope you cleared your schedule. Uh, okay, ascension challenges, tactical challenges. 
those are the new things that were added to this mode. Um, Ragers, okay. Each active directive slightly increases the chance for a target loot from the drop. Why am I reading that? <laughs> I thought that was the Ragers explanation. Alright, killing the enemy fills the rage meter of nearby hostiles. Rage depletes over time. A rage meter... A full rage meter makes an enemy enraged, which grants overheal. Killing an enraged enemy removes all the rage from nearby hostiles. An empty rage meter makes an enraged enemy return to normal. I'm not trying to mess with that on no legendary, man. I'm not even interested in... I don't care about that. I'm gonna use a big horn. You, you know, in order to use the big horn, you gotta make a build that's catered to that, like a headshot build. I got something planned for that, man. But I'm about to use this Scorpio and legendary, man. You had to change builds, Doc. Yeah, man. Give me three six. Skins, man. The skins be so average on this game. All right. Yes, I have saved outfits. Yeah, damaged armor doesn't does work with skills. That's oh man, that's just gonna, I got to get in the lab, man. I got so many ideas in my head right now. Check out my weapon, so I hit him with the shotgun, get a status, and then swap it to the SMG, um, which has got status on it, and I'm using versatile. Hey, yeah, look at this guy's um, rank. He's a 3,000 shade agent, man. <laughs> which means I've got no life. <laughs> oh, that's that right there. That's deadly, bro. It's a deadly build you got right there. Better be careful for those elites, though. Yeah, dude. <laughs> it's a bit squishy. Alright, guys. What am I using? I'm using my insurmountable build that I uploaded the video. I uh, uploaded to YouTube the other day. So, because the health damage, because it uh, does direct health damage, then I put, you know, the Hollow Man is perfect, man. You know? This is really going to help against those who... Now, I wonder. Yeah. Those those NPCs' heal boxes, isn't it going to heal the enemy's health, not just the armor? Dude, I hate this 
going to be through the patch. God, bro. Agent out of action. Agent killed. All right. Agent needs assistance. Failed attempt to start. First of all, we had invincible dogs. Just go ahead and wipe it, Doc. Yeah, that's the thing with this. Um. I'm testing this out with insurmountable. The ravenous is very essential to that build because when you're using the ravenous, you're constantly getting bonus armor while you're face tanking those elites, and so it helps out with your survivability. So, I just want to see how this weapon, just in general, works with against legendary enemies. You know. Just wait. Come on, come on, come on, help me, help me, help me, help me. Dang it. Freaking. Alright. The drones are up. Oh. oh, you're a lead, aren't you? Marshmallows. You need to make a build that's catered towards uh, actual like damage and like shotgun damage and whatnot. If you want to really capitalize on this against it, like elites and legendary, because otherwise you're just gonna be you're just gonna keep applying status effects on them without doing much damage, right? Oh, we got a Changa. Where's he at? Air Force Doc. Oh yeah, but it definitely helps with this, you know, see how he's uh, getting knocked down and stuff? He can't really, he can't really do what he wants to do to me, just like the legendary elites always do. They just run around and just do whatever they want. You just kind of, you just kind of, you know, keep your wits about you, man, and watch yourself when you're playing. This is really gonna help with these. Ch oh, oh, well, back up. the shoddy but he got the bleed hive so oh he's not no he don't have it no more nice all right cool but yeah this is the way you can fight these guys man a lot easier that enemy up top is just annoying So if I had a build that you know had like shotgun damage and yeah I, I, I want to make a, a legendary build with this because you, you would absolutely destroy legendary with something like that. How many more armor kits? Yeah.
Yeah, shoot yourself. Kill yourself. Kick rocks. Great thing, man. These purples and, and reds, they don't even—they don't shoot you. They shoot shield. How does it feel? <laughs> Hit me up, Artificer Hive. Do your job. <laughs> Don't let me get the trophies. Oh! Come on. Just be careful a little bit, you know. Your shield's getting taken damage. Go on cover, let the Artificer Hive heal it up, and then boom, we back in, back in action. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's a lot going on. Come on. You, no, you. They be cheating so much. <laughs> These legendary enemies be cheating so much. <laughs> oh, man. I could have did that. But yeah, man, that's where that build shines, man. When you, those uh, purples and reds running at you and all that, you can just deflect all those bullets back and helps out with the elite. But when you, um... Yeah, but that, 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 now that doesn't work well. Unless you, unless you spec into, like, shotgun damage and, you know, protection from elites and whatnot. That shotgun's not going to help you as much as the Ravenous will with this build. The Ravenous is just the bonus armor. Great. Yo, Doc, were you using the skill build just now? The one with the capacitor? Nope. nope. I was using two piece Hunter's Fury and versatile on a backpack and intimidate on the chest piece. The sharpshooter for um, the bonus armor when in cover. But it's too squishy. Yeah. That's a heroic build. All right. Yeah, so I don't really know how to use the, uh... Hey, give me a second, y'all. I am gonna be out. Uh, good luck with your stream, man. Alright, man, thanks. Thanks for stopping through. Yeah, take it easy. Gonna go to the lobby for three six. I'm back. Alright. You are no longer in a group. Okay. I'm not 
put together a really strong skill build with the waveform and backpack and a capacitor. Gloves for the uh, yeah, famous gloves for the AR damage. Redline Gaming. Hey, uh, shout out to Redline Seventeen ga Gaming, by the way. Him and Jinmo in the, in the Discord have been helping people on PS4 get through the Iron Horse raid. So, man, thanks a lot for that. I appreciate that. He said, I don't know if you know this, but if you proc left shoulder, which is blue, switch to get bonus armor, then switch to secondary, you get the extra damage from that gun. Really? So if I just Get the bonus armor then switch to my secondary weapon and i still get the weapon from the ravenous is bonus that's pretty sweet i didn't know that That chest piece looks nice. I like that. We don't have to take this chest piece off because that one was looking nice. Hmm. Alright, so at the moment. Leading current. So if I can't use the new gear set, the new brand set with this because it's only the two pieces of skill damage, no point in doing that. I would like to get to that 10% skill efficiency. Right? I'm trying to see if I if I get more damage out of this or the gear or the brand set. Let me see. I'm, I'm about to see something real quick. This works. Oh my god. Doesn't work.
<laughs> Yo, my wife just brought me breakfast while I'm streaming. You know what that means as a gamer? For your for your significant <laughs> other to bring you a gourmet breakfast while gaming. I tell you a little something though. <laughs> when she's mad at me, she leaves it on the steps. It's all good though. Can't be too mad because she at least made it, right? Uh, pancakes, eggs, grits. Oh, beautiful. MOB said, "How, so how OP is skill damage at the moment?" Not gonna jump on a PTS yet. Oh, you? Okay. Oh, you got? You haven't got to jump on the PTS yet. Um. Well, Doc here made a pretty OP skill build. Now, check this out. This is what I just put together, right? Alternating current, which gives you stacks. Um, skill damage. It gives you stacks of skill damage. And then you got the 4P. I'm um, sorry, I'm just managing some stuff in my background, but um, this the three, two and three piece doesn't give you any skill um, damage or anything. But this right here, it gives you 25% skill damage for interacting with it. You know, using it, deploying it, picking it up, changing skill target, just using it. And then the chess piece exclusive talent gives you 50. That it goes to 50% from that, right? So that's why I was asking y'all. I'm like, should I use? Should I use, uh, yo, shout out to the wifey, by the way. Yeah, she is a GOAT. So, so that's why I said, should I use the capacitor? And somebody said, yeah, it gives you, what, 5% for each tier. That's a no-brainer. Right? And and it gives you, oh, yeah, 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 you should use it. Because <laughs> I was about to say, NSYNC gives you damage. But this gives you 50% skill damage if you stack it up. So 50% skill damage plus 30% weapon damage. And I was saying before, this only has 30 rounds in a mag, so they're promoting it as like a something you use alongside your skills. You know, you you know, you just support your skill build. So let's try this out in this legendary, because this is the ultimate AFK build right here. They need more mods for this, man. What the heck? Alright. You have been promoted to group leader. Another agent It is too is good to miss out on for sure. Oh my goodness. Oh my breakfast. I, I wish I could show y'all it. What she made, man. I thought she was mad at me last night. I guess I was wrong, right? <laughs> hey, Shadow Gamer, welcome to the stream. Um, the max stacks. Ah, oh, man. The max stacks you can get from the holster is uh. 3% skill damage. Generate a stack of 3% skill damage on one of your skills every second, capping at 10 stacks. So you get 30% skill damage from the holster. So basically, you get 80% skill damage, man, with this stuff all together. I think it is, though. When you're using uh, the capacitor, you gotta get those stacks first. In sync, you just have to shoot the enemy. So it's up to you. Like, what do you want to generate the stacks and then keep them? Pick this turret up. Cause when your turret about to get destroyed, you pick it up and uh, yeah, throw it back down. This is the ultimate AFK build, man. Up, oh, getting flanked.
it up. Oh, I just got sniped. Oh, aggressive. Agent killed. Thanks, Doc. Watch yourself. He said it's a setup. Why you say it's a setup, bro? She could just she could just be, you know, giving me the food, man. Oh, you was hiding there? <laughs> I love this turret pickup mechanic, man. Like, you could just bring it with you wherever you want. Just like the hive. But you gotta, so you gotta make sure. You know what? This is good, man. This gun is really good because you know, you know the AFK, the AFK, right? style of playing where you just sit back and let your skills do all the damage you have to actually shoot if you want to maximize your uh, damage you gotta actually use your weapon that's what the capacitor is doing for you yep We gotta get that uh that medic out the way. Hope nobody comes up behind me. Got another. Immediate medical assistance needed. And you have to interact with your skills. You have to actually aim at that stuff in order to get alternating current to activate on your your holster. You no, know, you can't just sit there. Did the devs man no, no, notice that about the AFK builds? This really this really allows you to interact, man, and just go ahead and. <laughs> Pick it up. Nice. Yeah, this is great, man. Oh, got up. You know what? Um, I actually might not use the backpack, uh, Doc. Variations you can make with the builds. Yeah, I'm using a combination of glass uh, cannon with force bomb. See if I can pick up my drone. <laughs> so for real, I mean, why why not grab that one out the sky? <laughs> Jump, man! I tried to pick up your drone, uh, your turret, actually. Ah, they should make you. They should let you grab that one out the sky. How epic would that be, huh? But I got it right back, you know, because I'm wearing a backpack. You know, as soon as you destroy a skill with a backpack, the exclusive talent allows it to come right back. And you know, I had the audacity to try this, because remember when I t uh, discovered about the this backpack where you could use it by itself. I try to use that talent by itself. It doesn't work. You have to have the four piece in order to destroy your skill. I looked as well, man. I checked that out. I thought you need the 
Peace. Yeah, the exotic shot can be really good for hybrid helps. Really good. Why didn't even look at me? So strong. Oh, you're taking a lot of damage. Let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah. We gotta get the uh, hill box out the way. I see it. There we go. Immediate medical assistance needed. And where's your safety blanket? I have no armor kits, so I need to be careful. There's a grenade right there, man. Wow, that's crazy, man. Like, you don't have to wait for your skills once they're done. I forgot. Yeah. Let me destroy this. Right back again. That's crazy. So you can, like, seamlessly move through through maps and areas with, with your skills. Keep coming back. Repositioning. Tactics are really good. Yeah, that magazine size killed me there. Immediate medical assistance needed. Come on, man. Please, yo. This, <laughs> why we ain't got no weapon that's that strong? Got a, a surprise for you. Nice, nice. Get up out there. Get out of here. Sniper. Uh oh.
I'm gonna head out there, it's right here. Alright man, appreciate it man, appreciate you stopping through man, I'm gonna um... Huh? Oh good man. Yeah. Thanks for the run dude. Yes sir. I'm about to be finished here soon also, let me just uh... Go ahead and leave this room. I'll come yeah. help you. If you're gonna leave after this stream, I'll come help. You. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So after this, after we finish this, I'm gonna head to go ahead and end the stream, man. And uh, cause I didn't want to make this a super long stream. I just wanted to showcase what everything was. I got the, I showed you guys the uh, pulse. I showed you guys the new weapons, new named items. <clears throat> cause I would notice that when a PTS will come out or whatever, and then I do a stream, like five hours, man. I don't want to do that anymore. Gear set is really good. I think I think that um, skill uh, on a gear set, skill health and skill duration, skill haste and skill duration. Maybe it should have been skill haste and like skill efficiency or something. You know, skill duration. Why did they have that? I, I really don't understand it. Especially since you can just, I don't know. This just don't make sense to me. Great, you got somebody coming up to you. Destroy the turret, drop it back again. Oh. Getting healed though. About to focus on that. That box. Might as well. That'll do it, y'all. Um, <sighs> rogue agent detected. Do, wait, did I just hear rogue agent? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, this is the perfect thing way to end off the stream. Where are you guys at? Putting this right in the middle. I'm 
Huh? Oh, so if they destroy your turret, you can't get it right back. You have to destroy it, or it has to, like, expire as far as in time. Yeah, this is great. This is great, man. I didn't have to move my turret one time, man, because it was just like in the middle. Get up. Why didn't it automatically come back? Oh, okay, that's why. Because when you pick it up, it still has a cooldown. Rogue sniper. Rogue agent eliminated. PDR. Oh, that's what it's called. That's what the uh, named shotgun variant, I mean AR variant, is called the PDR. All right, y'all. Appreciate y'all stopping through. Um, it was a beautiful stream, shorter than the other streams, but it was effective. And uh, I'm gonna call it on that, man. Have a good rest of y'all day or night. Peace. Thanks, man. Alright, Doc. I'll talk to you later, brother. Yeah, take care, man. Thanks for being by. Let's do it again soon, Captain. Sure.